Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Sarah Palin exposes the epic reason that no man would ever try to sexually harass her. There has been a lot of women coming out against sexual assaulters recently. But in an interview Sarah Palin exposes the epic reason why no man would dare to sexually assault her. Want to talk about Al Franken and what happened today? Asked the interviewer. Oh, it's amazing what happened today, the revelation there. And knowing that, you know, it's very important that we are consistent and that double standards aren't being applied. It's not a partisan issue. So, when we see this happening today, I think it leads to a lot of questions about what standards are going to be applied to whom, she said. Then the interviewer reached the million dollar question. Have you ever experienced sexual harassment in the workplace as an ambitious woman in public life? Asked the interviewer. Um, you know, I think a whole lot of people know that I'm probably packing, so I don't think there's a whole lot of people who would necessarily mess with me. And I don't mean to be lighthearted about it because it's a serious issue. It really stinks for women in the workplace that for too long, men have thought that they can get away with kind of being that old school thinking that it's okay to belittle and harass women in general, she said. In some respects, it's great that people are finally talking about this issue because it's got to stop. If we truly are one standing up for equality in the workplace, the only way that we are going to really see manifested equality is for that practice to stop, she said. Do you wish more people understood the equalizing power of guns? I am still humiliated that I did it, Megyn Kelly reveals what she did to Fox XX to get hired. It is no secret that unsuccessful current NBC host Megyn Kelly is an opportunist. After all, she did leverage her high-profile sparring with then-candidate Donald Trump at Fox News into a lucrative contract at NBC. However, in an emotional segment on her low-rated show Today with Megyn Kelly, she revealed just how far she was willing to go to try to first get the job at Fox News in 2004 said Megan on her show, where women were discussing workplace harassment, when I started at Fox News, I was 32, I had practiced law for 10 years already. I was asked to do the twirl and I did it. She went on, I am still humiliated by that. Humiliated that I did it. I felt degraded in the moment. I know it doesn't sound like much, but it is degrading, and in the moment, you don't know what to do. Megan then detailed what was going through her mind at the time and how she felt about the male Fox executives who requested her to twirl around as part of the interview. Said Kelly, You think, I don't want my relationship to fall apart. In my business, it's a visual business. I'm not sure if it's inappropriate. You know it is on some level. Megan added about getting sexually harassed, it's disgusting, it's dejecting, it's maddening and so now you have to ask yourself what you're going to do about it. Are you going to reject this man, upon whom your very future at the company in my case depends, and in all likelihood in the industry? In my case, and in the Harvey Weinstein victims' cases, their influence is beyond the company. It's industry-wide. Do you think Megan's interview was sexual harassment or something else? Dem Ohio judge defends Al Franken by sharing all the women he's had sex with. Many sexual predators in power are being exposed and taken down. From Hollywood producers to senators. Clearly, some people are panicking. Including Democratic Ohio Judge Bill O'Neill. O'Neill defended Senator Al Franken who was caught with photographic evidence groping a woman, and accused of shoving his tongue down her throat. He defended Franken and tried to defend himself by sharing all the women he's had sex with. Now that the dogs of war are calling for the head of Senator Al Franken I believe it is time to speak up on behalf of all heterosexual males. As a candidate for governor let me save my opponents some research time, 
he wrote on his Facebook page. In the last 50 years I was sexually intimate with approximately 50 very attractive females. It ranged from a gorgeous personal secretary to Senator Bob Taft, Sr., who was my first true love and we made passionate love in the hayloft of her parents' barn in Gallipolis and ended with a drop-dead gorgeous redhead who was a senior advisor to Peter Lewis at Progressive Insurance from Cleveland, he continued. Now can we get back to discussing legalizing marijuana and opening the state hospital network to combat the opioid crisis? I am so disappointed by this national feeding frenzy about sexual indiscretions decades ago. Peace, he wrote. Yeah, did he really think this post was a smart idea? Is he just trying to brag? Lena Dunham says women never lie about rape, completely switches sides after friend is accused. Girls star Lena Dunham once claimed on Twitter that a woman would never lie about rape. Things women do lie about, what they ate for lunch. Things women don't lie about, rape, she wrote in August. But then, Marie Miller, a friend of Dunham and a writer for her show was accused of raping an underage girl. Suddenly Lena Dunham's story completely changed. In a statement, Dunham wrote that this girl is a liar and a false accuser. During the windfall of deeply necessary accusations over the last few months in Hollywood, we have been thrilled to see so many women's voices heard and dark experiences in this industry justified. It's a hugely important time of change and, like every feminist in Hollywood and beyond, we celebrate, she started in a statement. But during every time of change there are also incidences of the culture in its enthusiasm and zeal, taking down the wrong targets. We believe, having worked closely with him for more than half a decade, that this is the case with Murray Miller, she wrote. While our first instinct is to listen to every woman's story, our insider knowledge of Murray's situation makes us confident that sadly this accusation is one of the 3% of assault cases that are misreported every year. It is a true shame to add to that number as outside of Hollywood women still struggle to be believed. We stand by Marie and this is all we'll be saying about this issue, she wrote. How does she know for certain? Has she been with Marie during every moment? Is Lena Dunham a complete hypocrite? Juanita and Paula tell media where they can shove their apology after shunning them for 20 years. In an interview with Fox's Laura Ingram, Bill Clinton's rape and assault accusers Juanita Bordrick and Paula Jones addressed the liberal media suddenly apologizing and believing them after shunning them for 20 years. Well, it's a little bit too late for that now, isn't it? So, it makes you wonder if they really, truly mean what they say because us women did not get any kind of help whatsoever from any of those liberal women. They ridiculed us. We were called all kind of names. We were not believed. And I just, I hope that it's true that they think that now, but I don't know that it's, that I believe it, said Jones. It's absolutely disgusting, Laura. This great epiphany, that should have occurred 20 years ago, coming about now is, I should feel ecstatic about it, but I don't. I feel very disappointed that they waited two decades to do this," said Broderick. They also addressed how Hillary Clinton tried to keep them silent. And how Hillary told the media they were misremembering their assaults. I'm not misinterpreting, I'm not, no, 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 no. That is so ludicrous what she just said. I mean, seriously? I cannot believe that that lady would say that. And nothing was misinterpreted. I know what happened to me in that room that day," Jones said. I agree with you Paula, said Broderick. Hillary says President Trump should be more like sexual assaulter Al Franken. During an interview on The Rita Cosby Show, Hillary Clinton defended proven sexual predator Al Franken claiming that President Trump is worse and should be more like him. Look, we have a man who is accused of sexual assault sitting in the Oval Office, don't we? 
and the very credible accusations against him have not been taken seriously. So I think that the Republicans have a big problem that they are going to have to address and it's not just confined to Alabama, she said. Except Al Franken has photographic evidence against him. Trump's accusers all disappeared from the spotlight with no evidence. Look, Al Franken is a friend of mine, and I deeply regret what he did. There is no excuse for his behavior, none at all. But he has called for an investigation. He has apologized to the woman involved. Apparently, she has accepted the apology. I think we have got to recognize he agreed to an ethics investigation, said Hillary. It will go to the Ethics Committee. It will investigate whatever the situation was, and they'll decide what if any action should be taken based on that behavior. I think that is the appropriate process, she said. I think something like that coming into the public arena, and Al's very quick acceptance of responsibility and apology and his willingness to be investigated and to take the consequences is the kind of accountability I'm talking about. I don't hear that from Roy Moore or Donald Trump, she said. She also forgets to mention that Al Franken only took responsibility for what was already shown in her photograph. He continued to denying the accusation that he shoved his tongue down Tweedon's throat against her will.